What we have here is the PFG 600, the two inch fiberglass shower saw drain by Plasticotis. It comes in five different parts. You have your decorative strainer, you have your upper male portion that screws into the base, you have your paper fishkin gasket and your rubber gasket. You also have your female portion that goes underneath the shower saw drain. Now incorporated into this drain are three very important aspects to keep it from leaking. You're going to put a silicone bead around here. You have this rubber gasket that goes on the top there. Incorporated into the base you have weep slots that allow any water that get by this or the gasket to go down the drain and not into your basin. A lot of plumbers will make the mistake of putting a big old glob of plumber's putty around here which once inserted into this can spread and dissipate into your weep slots negating the design the feature of that and causing this thing to leak. Okay, we're going to show you how to install this. You install your paper gasket on the bottom, rubber gasket on the top, which is going to go to the bottom of the pan. You're going to apply a small bead of silicone around the edge here. We like silicone because it's a flexible substance and it remains somewhat flexible which is going to allow it to give a little bit at the natural flex of the pan when someone's standing on it taking a shower. And we're going to show you how to install this thing with an emphasis on not over tightening it. Over tightening it is a very dangerous feature in this that it will cause this thing to possibly fracture and compromise the integrity of your drain. Alright, you see he is hand tightening this. And he's going to take a tool. A lot of guys want to use this uh, channel lock to do this with. We recommend you go one quarter turn as the bead, as the silicone goes around the edge here. Now you've got the silicone, you've got those gaskets, and you've got the weep slots, and you've got a sturdy, properly installed drain. Once again, we recommend the silicone, and we recommend that you do not over tighten this drain. Thank you.